We thank Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave us this opportunity to pray this Jumu'ah in congregation. As also we thank our Imam for this presenting this uh, wonderful khutbah as we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward him abundantly. Uh, Imam in his today's sermon or the topic of our today's sermon is all about the brotherhood in Islam in which Imam mentioned various ayats verses of the Holy Quran and the tradition of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam concerning the issue and importance of this uh, this topic of brotherhood in Islam Imam mentioned uh, some of the ayat that Imam mentioned that when Allah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhan nasu, inna khalaqanakum min dhakarin wa untha, wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu, inna akaramakum indallahi atakakum. Oh, you people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling all the people, in respect of their religions and their colors, their countries, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I have created you from a single soul that is Adam and Hawa. And uh, I make you in the cities and clan. For which purpose? Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for the purpose to know each other. Know be the purpose of Travelism, biography, and any other aspects, defect aspects. Then Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in another ayah by saying, Innam al mu'minuna ikhwa. Indeed, the believers are the, they are brothers of each other. And also, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned. In the hadith, in one of the hadith, it said, Al Muslimu man salim al Muslimuna bil lisani hi wa yadi. The good Muslim is the one that Muslims are safe from his tongue. He is not backbiting them, gossiping them, and his yadi, mil lisani hi wa yadi, and his hand. He is not beating them and use any kind of power to, uh, uh, to cause problem to his fellow human being or fellow brothers Muslim. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is very, very wonderful khutbah and it is in time we need to come together as a Muslim in respect of our tribes, our languages to be a Muslim. The utmost end and the the purpose of this uh, life is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the end to enter Jannah. As Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in another ayah, he said, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, uh, wa ma khalaktu al-jannah wal-insa illa liya'abudun, ma uridu minhum mariskin, wa ma uridu an yutimun. And also in another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna akaramakum inda Allahi. At Kakum, the most noble and gen generous among you is the one that pierces Allah a lot. Not he by being his uh, Arab or Hausa or any language. That is the uh, time of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when some of the Sahaba start saying, I am the son of this and the son of that. Then one Salman al Farisi says, I am the son of Islam. Even in some narration, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Salmanu minna ahalul bayt. Salmanu minna ahalul bayt. This Islam is the religion that accepts all the people. 
look at Salman, he came from Paris. Look at Suhaib, he came from Rome. Look at Abilal, he came from Habasha, our Ethiopia today. All the noble uh, companion of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Almighty Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to reward Imam for this wonderful khutbah as we ask him also to give us ability to comprehend and act upon this very wonderful khutbah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu laik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Wallahu bi kulli shayin alim.